Thank you very much, Bill, and uh, good morning, everybody. Can I just first say to uh, Ruth Wright, a dear friend of many, many years, <clears throat> what a great legislator and leader she was of the Democratic Party in the House uh, back then. And I was uh, delighted and honored to, to serve with her. But So, Ruth, good to see you again. And <clears throat> thank you for your continued involvement in public policy and in, and in supporting Will. We, we very much appreciate it. And to uh, Gil, lower this. I actually have a cough, so perhaps my voice is not carrying. To Gil Reyes, a good friend, many, many years. He's doing great work in Adams County uh, in a very difficult situation because, as you know now, uh, people are facing foreclosures in record numbers, not just in the state, but around the country. And you need thoughtful people in public office working with those individuals who are now uh, lodging protests. So, Gil, good to see you again, and thank you for, for being here. And to my good friend, uh, Will uh, Shafroth. Will, you're going to win this election. Yeah. And let me tell you how. With us today are a number of supporters of Will's, people who are very concerned about their environment, <clears throat> their community, the economy, but most of all, concerned about sending people to Congress with a fresh perspective. The reason I decided to endorse Will, even with two other candidates who are wonderful Democrats, was very simply my belief that in this election year, we need to send people to Congress who truly bring a creative, fresh perspective to very complex problems in Washington, D.C. I can recall the people who have served this district for many, many years, great leaders, people like Tim Wirth and David Skaggs and, of course, Mark Udall. So we've had a succession of creative thinkers, leaders, who have come from this congressional district, it is now time to continue that tradition of electing great, thoughtful leaders, and that person is Will Shafroth. Now, you've heard from Ruth and Gill about his work in GOKO, and I've known Will for a number of years going back to those GOKO days, but since then, seen him involved in so many community activities. But the reason I decided to support him is very simply this. We need leaders in Washington who will finally end the war in Iraq, bring our troops home in a methodical and thoughtful and safe way so we can begin investing those trillion dollars we have been spending in Iraq and other parts around that country and start using those dollars investing in our domestic economy. Will wants to do that. I'm supporting him. The second reason, as a former Secretary of Energy, and I've spoken out on this issue a number of times, whether how we become energy independent, how we deal with uh, the problem of importing more foreign oil, the billions of dollars we export every year affecting our balance of trade. But more than that, American dollars that go to fund countries and indirectly terrorist groups, which are planning the next attack on us as Americans, we need to finally develop an energy independent strategy. And Will has that commitment. He will invest more dollars in new energy, things like alternative energy uh, technologies, uh, cellulosic ethanol, getting us into new fuel cells. All this investment that we've not been able to make in this country for years because of distractions around the world. Will is committed to forging and shaping an energy policy which will help make our country energy independent. I can think of no greater challenge that we as Americans face than that. And I want to send a congressman who knows how to do it, who has the experience, who's going to step up to the plate and swing the day, first day he's there and who'll get the job done, and that's Will Shafrock. And the third reason, the third reason has to do with issues that affect all of us here in Colorado, but particularly in this district, whether it's improving education for our children, finding a way to reduce the 50% Hispanic dropout rate, not only in many school districts around the state, but throughout the country. The fact that we're losing a generation of kids, a generation of kids who will not be productive citizens. He's very involved in education, very committed to education. He understands these issues. He also speaks Spanish. So he understands the issues of Latino kids in this, in this area. He also understands the challenges of people who are losing their homes and how he wants to form a new economic policy for this country. So I can go on, but I won't, because I'm really here not only to endorse Will, but to urge all the people in the second congressional district to support this great candidate. This is a historic time 
in the history of our country where we're going to elect a president who's going to transform the world. And that president is going to need a Congress who will help him do that job. So it's my great pleasure to introduce the next congressman from the 2nd Congressional District, my friend, Will Shapro. Will.